Okay, so for this toy review, um, I'm going to start off with the Overwatch Reaper. Uh, okay, full disclosure, I know nothing about Overwatch. I have no idea. Um, I've never played a single game or anything like that. It looks cool, but I know nothing about Overwatch. Um, don't know which part... Of these down here is his name. Um, <laughs> yeah. And uh, so that's that. Um, yeah, no, nothing about Overwatch. Uh, the only real reason I bought this was because. Bam! Oh, well, well I didn't pay that price. I only paid $5. Thank you, GameStop. Words I haven't said since I was. Anyways, so I picked this up for five bucks mostly because um, I kind of recently got into customizing action figures and I see a lot of potential here. Uh, there's a lot of detail on it. Looking at it right away, I notice a few small things, uh, just some small stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Let me do one of those snap things. No, I'm just kidding. One moment. Okay. So from opening it out of the box to right now, I somehow lost a fist. Um, I'll have to look around to find that later. Uh, but um, so you know, this comes with two jumbo guns, uh, some explosions, effects, an open hand, and what was once a fist, now a ghost hand. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up from here. And let's see what kind of poses and articulation this thing has. So now that we got this thing out of the cardboard, out of the plastic, we can see what it can actually do. Uh, get my fingers out of the way. Alright, so with most toys, most action figures, they all have kind of like the same set of points for articulation. You know, you got your basic head swivel. Put your arms up, arms down, arms forward, back. Uh, this one I noticed it, it kind of has a, sort of like a butterfly joint. So it like swivels there. It's pretty interesting. And then you see it also goes up and down right there as well. It's kind of kind of stiff, but rather be stiff than super loose uh, it's gonna be the same stuff all on this side and what I was saying earlier about what I noticed right off the bat back bat back is his head is incredibly small is it just me or is that you know like this his head seems like a baby head Especially compared to his hands. His hands, his head, seems kind of silly, but I, I'm, I'm guessing that's off of the art from the video game. That's the only thing I can assume, and it, again, having no knowledge, um, I probably sound really stupid. But anyways, again, the, the detail on this is just, like, it's really, really good. That's crazy detail, um, but to continue with the articulation, can't talk. Art continue with the articulation. It's got this whole little swivel going on there. You go forward pretty far, and then uh, I've never really seen this before. But it's kind of like an ab crunch, but it's not. Can't really bend over too far that way. Um, you can go back further than he can go forward. Well, I don't know. He kind of 
fudge it a bit. Um, he's got thigh swivel, double knees, uh, his foot, holy shit. That is, wow. Why would his leg need to bend that far back? Huh. Does Samuel Jackson do the... Nope. I guess because he's wearing pants. I don't know. That is insane. Why would they even make him bend that far back? Anyways. Let's move on to the accessories. So I'm kind of having to to fight it to fit in there. It doesn't really, like it goes in there, but as you can see, his hand kind of isn't really like on the trigger. That might be a problem for some. It comes out pretty easily. Uh, for these jumbo hands, you can't really hold it too well, but um, I was able to get it in there. Another problem I notice, sometimes the arm is a little too loose. So like when trying to pose him, you know, say you like want to have him with his gun up, it's just gonna kind of keep falling. So yeah, I mean, like I said, the detail and articulation cannot say that word. I, I dig it. It's pretty cool. Um, you can get him into some pretty cool poses. Um, I do feel the guns are kind of oh, they seem like they over. Like it's too much weight, and then when I add, oh by the way, this is like a pretty soft plastic. It's got little peg holes. You just slide that in right there. It to me, it just looks. I don't know. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. Take a picture. This is it. There we go. Post that one later. Towards the end. Um, you know, this is a pretty cool figure. I don't think I would pay full price for it, though. That, I, I don't... I can't see myself doing that. Which is exactly why I picked it up for the price that I picked it up. Um, so, I mean, overall, this is a, a pretty cool toy. You know, pretty solid. Wonder if wanted to see something. Oh, yeah, there's no way in hell. No, no, that, that just is ridiculous. Although, this does kind of look like men in black just because of how. Oversize the gun is. I guess it's not that bad. You just uh, use your imagination. Like, oh, he's not just. He could totally fire that gun like that. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Again, these effects, effects are pretty cool. Um, you have some like ticky tack or sticky tack. You know, you can. You can work it around to where it's other stuff, you know. You can you can cut it off and then kinda of just stick it on there and make it look like it's jets or something. Um can be a uh kinda of like a raw Cyclops blasting, you know. Using one of those. Like, oh no my glasses got knocked off. I can't I can't help you guys. I'm useless on the team now. Actually, that actually is pretty cool. If I had a Cyclops, I'd pose him doing that. But for right now, I just have Samuel Jackson. It's probably like the best action figure that you can want. Um, besides the Mace Windu one. You can be like, I'm tired. It's Monday through Friday planes. No, what is it? I'm tired of these monkey fighting planes on these Monday through Friday. No. 
monkey fighting snakes. I'm tired of these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. Uh, this review was the Overwatch Ultimates Reaper Fashor Black Watch Rays. I don't know what this guy's name is. Um, I was, it, it was kind of hard. Uh, I tried to get him in this pose. It was nearly impossible. Uh, like, comment, you know, tell me what I did wrong. If this was, uh, decent or if it was a-okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Kind of review, just, uh, let me know. <laughs> Thank you.